Hi and welcome to one of our uh, product review videos and today we're going to be looking at a couple of hot chocolate uh, sachets. Um, we're looking at the Salted Caramel Blend Number no. 9 and Dark Orange Blend Number no. 17. They look like coffee granules but they're not. Um, yeah. So they're made by they're made by um, a company called Pen, Pendragon Drinks .co.uk. Uh, it'll do eight cups per thing, 250 grams in this one, and it says that coca content and all that sort of stuff. Um, you, you can buy it from this place, in case you're wondering. So if you are thinking about buying this stuff, and we, oh, hopefully our review helps you. Um, it's got the instruction on how to make it on the back as well. So the car salted caramel has got 45% cocoa, and the hot chocolate orange blend number 17 has got 50. 4% cocoa, I'll just chop that thing off there. Um, it's an important thing to note when you've used it, the packets are resealable and they're almost like a cardboardy type, so it doesn't so it dry out. Yeah. I've already made a chocolate, uh, that's what it looks like. Um, and basically it's saying three heaped spoons of a dessert spoon. Three so dessert well. spoon, not teaspoon, yeah, so which is important to note. So that's what it, you can smell it. It smells the orange. It smells love, absolutely lovely. And then it says just literally do that, and then pour your milk in there. Obviously not right to the top, otherwise it'll be. So this hot chocolate gets made with milk. It's not not like instant. Cold milk, and then literally you pop it in here for two minutes. So I got bought these as a Christmas present, Christmas birthday present from a family member and um, haven't used them yet but we're using them now so hopefully if you're thinking about buying these and this video is of some help to you, it's just sort of I'm ground up chocolate and flavouring isn't it? Just for the camera. It's even nice to eat. Right. This tastes really nice. The um, how long do we put it in the in the microwave two for? Minutes. So two minutes in the microwave at the moment. That is really nice to wash my hands before that. That smells very orangey, like like a Terry's chocolate orange, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the closest I get to it. Yeah, and it all does look really good quality. Obviously, this is sort of call me old-fashioned, a special occasion chocolate because there's a fair bit of weight in it. It's a quality product, but you'd have it now and then, perhaps his birthday or. Just something special for somebody. So this is the hot chocolate that I made earlier. Which one was that? Which one of those That's was that? Uh, blend number nine. So that would be a salted caramel flavour, which is this one. And and it does all blend well. So before the other one's finished, the best thing I can do is, is taste it and compare it to say to Costa Coffee. Oh, Cadbury's. We have Cadbury's, Cadbury's instant you know, a lot, actually. So. We drink that most of the time for drinking anything. I'm no connoisseur of hot chocolate, but immediately when I taste this, it tastes very smooth on the tongue, which is unusual. Normally, you don't, you wouldn't even get that sensation from off-the-shelf brand. It does not need any sweetener in here. Right, I've, okay. I've got a sweet tooth, uh, and somebody else has got a sweet tooth that I know, and it definitely doesn't need any sweetener. I mean, that is... So it's okay. very smooth, very easy to make, very smooth, and... It li and, and it leaves a bit of a chocolatey taste on your tongue as well, which is unusual, so you're getting big bang for your buck, as they say. <laughs> Bigger um, bang for your buck. So that one there is done. So the one we've just finished finished there is the um, blend number 17 dark orange. This one. Okay. So we'll see what this is like. So if you are thinking about buying this then uh, hopefully our review helps you. On smelling it, the orangey smell has gone. Definitely. It seems to mix really well as well. We'll say that. It seems to mix very, very easily. Yeah, I mean, I'll put two minutes in our microwave. It's obviously melting. 
I know this is a bit of an unusual review to do on a hot chocolate thing, but it's, you know. Oh, that's nice. Is Again, it very orangey? Uh, it's got subtle orange. So it's not, it's not as orangey as you think it would be. The is it sweet? Yeah, it doesn't need any sweetener. The orange is still there, but it's not as strong. But it's there, it's an aftertaste, but it really is nice. Right, okay. I mean, my, I would say, yeah, 10 out of 10, it's a sort of a luxury product. I mean, obviously, like, there are different blends here. So we've got blend number 9 and 17, but you might want to buy those, or you might want to buy a different blend. There'll be a whole range of them. I would imagine there would be a whole range of them, because they're numbered. So you'll find something that's um, to your to your liking, but these are quite a popular thing. Like salted caramel is quite popular these days of ice creams and stuff. And, and you can put bits yeah. in them, can't you? You can put. That's not part of the product, though. No, I know it's. Not. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that's yeah. You can do all sorts of things with hot chocolate. We don't want to go on. But anyway, that's our review for the um, salted caramel and dark orange hot chocolate made by Pendragon Drinks. I, I don't know what they cost because. Um, it was bought as a gift for somebody, but if they did, if this was like in bigger bags and it was comparable, or even a little bit more than Cadbury's, I'd probably swap over to this because it is that nice. Yeah, it depends what's, if you like really nice and drinks thing and things. If you've got children, it's made with milk, but just bear this in mind: it's a real hot drink when it's come out in the microwave. Bear that in mind if you're doing it for your children. You don't use a kettle, do you, with this? No. no. Anyway, it's milk. If you decide to buy some of this. And it helps you move along and have a happy day. Help us move along a bit, please, and subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for watching.